I think this works really well. I think I have only minimal notes. You don't have any honor, do you? You coward! So there are two things. There are three things. A, there are some some technical things. This little slight feel we uh, will feel a uh, weird feeling as these arms go to the left and then the wrists rotate. There's something that feels like the rotation is too much. It feels very se <coughs> very separate. And then you got those very separate finger moves. See, like I can it feels like uh, like a claw or something moving while this is not moving. This feels technically still a bit weird. You know, I would just keep this like that. It's a very minimal thing. Like that all feels better. Careful through how throughout this here, there's a lot of movement, but then the wrists are very still. That feels a little bit too IK. This feels a bit weird because this move out here feels like it's a straight line going forward instead of an arc. That feels better, that feels better. You coward! The speed on these are, are good. It's just the beginning from a technical point of view. This is a bit funky. Uh, I think the don't is better. You don't have any honor, do you? I think the do you, do you could be a very more too sharper. But the main thing, the two main things that I have is on at the ends. Coward! If you could start the k on the head. Coward! I know like he's already moving the body a lot, but right now I keep all this. But right now the head still feels very, very attached to the body. If there's anything you can do at this point to keep the head a bit more towards us, so that when you really hit that C for coward that you snap the head over with two or three frames. It's, I still don't quite feel the coward, like how God, saying that really snaps the head over. It's all kind of buried inside uh, the, the body move. And then the other thing is, eye-wise, it's all cool. And once you open it here, it's funky because you're suddenly looking all the way up. And then you suddenly look all the way down over there. And then you dart suddenly over a bit more to his left. And then he's suddenly going back up here, and then here seems a bit more correct, and then that seems better. So I'm not quite sure if you're doing your eyes, you know, if you move the head, eyes go with it, or if you have a locator and the eye control box is constrained to it, and it eyes always look here. So if you could stabilize his eyes so that the moment it's here, it's actually looking at the guy, looking at the guy, looking at the guy, looking at the guy. You know, like this is like a standoff. You gotta look at his eyes. Because then even here again, it looks like he's looking at someone that's standing. Whereas this feels more... I guess it feels okay. Like that's the height, I guess. Using all this. So it just feels a bit all over the place through here. And this feels now, he's like a bit more toe is left further away compared to what's going on here. Just ever so slightly. I can kind of buy that, but I would just stabilize what's going on through here. Alright, all that that stuff. Through there. That. Super close, super close. I'm still super picky because it's super awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. Alright? Thank you.